हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सुब्रज्योति एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट डिजीजेस ऑफ ओनियन ओनियन इज वन ऑफ द यर्लीस्ट कल्टिवेटेड क्रॉप्स दे आर लेस पेरिसेबल ट्रांसपोर्टेबल इजी टू ग्रो एंड कुड बी ग्रोन इन ए वेराइटी ऑफ सॉइल्स एंड क्लाइमेट्स ओनियन इज बिलीव टू बी ऑरिजिनेटेड इन सेंट्रल एशिया इन इंडिया एज यर्ली एज द सिक्स सेंचुरी बी सी द फेमस मेडिकल ट्रीटीज चरक संहिता सेलिब्रेट्स द ओनियन एज मेडिसीन ए डायूरेटिक गुड फॉर डाइजेसन द हार्ट द आईज एंड द जॉन्ट्स इकोनॉमिक इम्पोर्टेंस इंडिया इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट प्रड्यूसर ऑफ ओनियन बिहाइंड चाइना अदर मेजर ओनियन प्रड्यूसिंग कंट्रीज आर पाकिस्तान बांग्लादेश इंडोनेशिया भियतनाम रशिया एटसेट्रा महाराष्ट्र इज द लीडिंग स्टेट इन ओनियन प्रोडक्शन विथ मोर देन थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ कंट्रीज प्रोडक्शन ओनियन इज रिच इन पोटेसीयम फसफरस कैल्शियम मैग्नेशियम कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एटसेट्रा ओनियंस कंट्रीब्यूटेड अबाउट टू नट फोर बिलियन इंडियन रुपीज इन द इंडियन इकोनॉमी इन फिजिकल इयर टू The most commonly occurring diseases in onions are purple blotch, smudge, smart, stemphylum leaf blight and downy mildew. Let's see them in detail. The first one is purple blotch. Purple blotch is caused by alternaria pori. Symptoms. This disease occurs mainly at the top of the leaves. The infection starts with whitish minute dots on the leaves with irregular chlorotic areas on tip portion of the leaves. Circular to oblique concentric black velvety rings appear in the chlorotic area. The lesions develop towards the base of the leaf. The spots join together and spread quickly to the entire leaf area. The leaves gradually die from the tip to downwards. Infection also seen on outer scales of ball, seed stalk and neck. Now coming to pathogen in alternaria pori, mycelium is branched, collared and septate. Conidiophores arise singly or in groups. They are straight or flexuous, sometimes geniculate. Disease cycle. Primary source of infection is the conidia present in the infected plant debris, and the secondary source of infection is the wind-borne conidia. Favorable conditions. Warm, humid weather with rains or dew helps in severe infestation. Then management. Disease free bulbs should be selected for planting and the seeds should be treated with thyram at the rate of 4 g per kg. The field should be well drained. Three foliar sprays with copper oxychloride 0.25% or chlorothalonil 0.2% or mancozeb 0.2% is helpful. Now the next disease is smudge. It is caused by Cholerotrichum sarsinans. Symptoms Symptoms are present chiefly on scales of bulbs and small leaves attached to bulbs on infected scales of bulb subcuticular dark green later turn into black stroma are produced which is called as smudge stroma are arranged in concentric circles in outer surface acerbulae and ct are produced under moist condition pink masses of conidia are produced inner scales of bulbs are also attacked Spots are whitish in color with pink sporulation. Disease cycle. Soil and infected onions acts as primary source of infections. Secondary source of infection is wind-borne conidia. Now management. Protection from rains after harvest is necessary. Spray with 0.2% Jainab or Captain before harvest of crop. Dry the bulbs by hot air at 37 to 40 degrees Celsius before storage. The next disease is smut which is caused by soil borne fungi Eurocystis sepulae then symptoms the symptoms appear on cotyledons and young leaves as longitudinal blisters that are blackish with a silver sheen seedlings often die before or within 6 weeks after emergence developing bulbs become covered by blackish lesions and are predisposed to infection by other organisms that cause secondary rots when the skin of blister splits fungus spores are released into soil where they remain infectious for many years now favorable condition infection is favored by cold damp weather in the spring which delays emergence disease cycle primary source of infection is spore balls in soils and seed balls secondary source of infection is wind blown soil and surface drainage water onion balls and onion transplant management treat the seeds or balls with thyram or carboxin at 3 g per kg Avoid monocropping and drenching patches with carboxin at the rate of 0.1% or propiconazole at the rate of 
तो नेक्स्ट इज 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 स्टेम्फाइलियम लिप ब्लाइट कॉज्ड बाय स्टेम्फाइलियम भेजिकेरियम सिम्टम्स स्मॉल लाइट येलो टू ब्राउन एंड वाटर शोक्ड लीजियंस डेवलप ऑन द लिप्स एज द लीजियंस एक्सपैंड द क्वालिस कॉजिंग एक्सटेंसिव लाइटिंग ऑफ द लिप्स टिपिकली लीजियंस आर फाउंड इन हायर नंबर ऑन द साइड ऑफ लिप्स फेसिंग द प्रिवेलिंग विंड द सेंटर्स ऑफ लीजियंस टर्न ब्राउन टू टैन देन डार्क ऑलिव ब्राउन एंड फाइनली ब्लैक एज द फंगस पोरुलेट्स Sometimes fruiting bodies are called perithecia may appear in infected tissue as small black pink head like raised bodies Favorable condition extended period of leaf wetness due to rainfall dew formation or overhead irrigation during ball formation and development can result in severe leaf blighting disease cycle the pathogen survives as conidia in seed and debris and it spreads through air borne conidia management Seed treatment with thyram or captain at the rate of 3 g per kg. Then spray mancozeb 0.25% or chlorothalonil at the rate of 0.2%. And the last disease is downy mildew, which is caused by Peronospora destructor. Symptoms at the field level, symptoms of downy mildew are first noticed as circular clumps of yellow plants that are a few to many feet in diameter. As the disease progresses the yellowing patterns often enlarge in the direction of prevailing winds on individual plants leaf of tissue become pale green then tan to brown or yellow and finally collapses lesions may exhibit a violet to purple color in addition to leaves the downy mildew pathogen can infect seed stalks flower parts and can infect bulbs systemically favorable conditions leaf wetness and high humidity is conducive for infections and in disease cycle woos spores and diseased crop debris are the primary source of infection and secondary source of infections is the juice spores now coming to management the seed ball should be obtained from healthy fields then destruction of wild onion plant is another option field should be well drained spray mancozeb at the rate of 0.2% then apply 20 kg of dfv repeat it at 10 to 12 days interval thank you